Good morning to you. Starting off with a little mixed bag of weather. We had some nice clear skies, even some sunshine, then another round of showers. Now back to sun in spots, but all over the region, our KDK weather watchers are waking up to very mild temperatures. We had a few days over the past week or two where highs only reached the 60s. Now our current temperatures are already in the 60s. 59 in Everett right now from Ken. Antonio in North Huntington already at 64. Some upper 50s from Kathleen and Steve Bradley in Uniontown already up to 68. 62 from Ed in Turner Heights and Susan up in Oil City waking, waking up to 57 degrees. But take a look outside right now at our Sue Wickley live weather bug camera. We have a little bit of wetness on the uh, pavement there where a couple of sprinkles went through with this latest round of showers. But otherwise starting off to be a very nice, uh, I guess you could call it still early morning, approaching mid morning in Sue Wickley. Pretty calm air. You can see the uh, flag not moving much there. Uh, on the flagpole, but look at the radar summary six hour uh, radar scan here and you can see the first round move through really around 2 3 a.m. Then we had a little break and the sun came up some nice beautiful sunrise shots around the area. Now this last round of showers moving through portions of Newcastle. We saw that on the camera now through Butler Catanning and really over the next probably 45 minutes we will start to move east of I 79 and we'll show you a little wider view where this is headed. It's a low pressure center and upper level disturbance pushing through just enough uh, really instability to give us a couple of these showers, but uh, really not much behind it. Once we get back up toward Cleveland Akron, this is about the back edge of the moisture and you can see behind that over the Great Lakes. We're getting nothing but a dry profile there. A little bit of activity up toward the northern Great Lakes. That will swing by to our north. High pressure is developing, and we're going to get what's called a Bermuda High developing over the next 24 to 36 hours, really keeping stuff dry over the next really three days, and a southwesterly wind flow that will push our temperatures way up above average. Current temperatures right now, 66 in Latrobe and in Pittsburgh. Beaver Falls, Butler, you're at 65, as well as Indiana. 61 in Champion, 65 in Washington. So future forecast, this is our computer model that shows potential for precipitation, cloud cover, hour by hour over the next 48 hours. We're down to just a sprinkle chance by around 10, 30, 11 a.m. And then after that, the clouds clear. Here comes that high pressure in place, and by later on this afternoon, all the way through Sunday, here's Sunday morning, Sunday through the day, barely a cloud in the sky, looking at beautiful conditions, but the temperatures, watch these numbers. So this is 7 a.m., all the way up to the mid 80s in some spots today for afternoon highs. And then overnight tonight, lows above average, only into the mid 60s again in many spots. And then by tomorrow afternoon, highs in the mid to upper 80s. For baseball today, how about 83 for the first pitch? 405 at PNC Park for the Pirates, mostly sunny, warm. Definitely take the sunglasses. Today, morning showers give way to sunshine. Warmer today, 84. And then tonight, very warm, mostly clear skies, 64 degrees. Then here's your seven day forecast. 88 tomorrow, bright sunshine, Monday, Tuesday, dew points rise, humidity returns. This will feel very summery and sultry, could hit 90 as early as Monday, likely on Tuesday as well. Next chance for thunderstorms, not until later in the day on Wednesday. Brenda.